three, two, one, mom. What's up, OFAC member Samu here? That's my mom, and she's watering the bushes. Hi. And then she's gonna kill some flies with some bleaches, so it's gonna be awesome. So, oh, the first thing on my list is I'm gonna do the top 21 video games of all time and have like a lot of stuff with me and I'll show a picture at the end of this video how much stuff I need to record this video and I hate flies <laughs> alright so there's like a few rules I'm gonna do for like this video game list and I'm sorry if I like really suck and I stutter and stuff and it's like oh you suck you don't know how to speak and you don't take takes I like to do everything in one take it's my first take okay so anyway rule number one I might actually add like more games inside one, but I'm still gonna pick like a number one. It's so confusing right now. I'm gonna use like an example. I'm gonna spoil this right now. Oh, and if you don't wanna hear the spoiler or anything, just skip to my video, the top 20 video games of all time. It'll be in the link description below. But anyways, I'm just gonna use this for example. There's gonna be like more games inside one. So basically, let's say I like Crash Bandicoot. It's kind of obvious that Crash Bandicoot's gonna be on this list because I love Crash Bandicoot. There's three Crash Bandicoots for PS1. The rest I don't really give a shit about. But three Crash Bandicoot games. To me, the first one is the most challenging. Second, it's like actually like the most balanced. The third, it's like the most um, vehicles and like stuff like that. But it's still like really good and stuff. And in my opinion, they're all 10 out of 10s. And in my opinion, I can't really pick one or the other, uh, over the other. It's just kind of like there. And that's a rainbow in the background if it got the end of the video. But basically, those three Crash Bandicoots, I just want to put them like all in like one sort of order. So it's not going to be like Crash Bandicoot 3, number 8, or like Crash Bandicoot 2, number like 1, and all that stuff. So I'm just going to put it all in like one spot, those three games. And my most favorite out of those three is definitely 2. But it's still like really hard to pick. It feels like all one unique game to me, so I'm just gonna put them all in one list. You know what I mean? So I'm only gonna spoil that right there. And I'm gonna show off the game system if I have it. And if I don't have the game, I'm sorry. And I'll show the system that it's actually on, like an N64, a GameCube, a Nintendo DS, a Quadrupolator 5000, you know? Like I'll show it off too if I have the system. But. Yeah, I hope you enjoy my top 20 video games all time. I'll give honorable mentions before number one, and I'll give my reasonings and examples, and I'll show clips and videos and outtakes and all this other crazy stuff to prove my point. And stay classy, always eat your pizza. Thank you for watching my intro. Got a wolf tie. Chili's awesome. We've been here through the end. <laughs> I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload again, but this will be my like my last one for a while and I, I love you all this Thank you for making me get this far and, and I'm nothing. I I'm no one special It's just my friends and stuff and family and so you guys like support me and I really appreciate this. Thank you very much Okay, Chili, let's go pizza Darn nuggets. Wolfpack members. Let's go Number 21 Three, two, one. Madden Blitz 2000 for the N64. If every sports game was like this game, like wild, crazy, awesome physics, you could like tackle opponents, like even like when they make a touchdown, and you could like keep hitting them down, like after you tackle them. Like if every sports game was like crazy and awesome like this, I I would actually love sports games. And it just makes 21 on the list because it is just a sports game. But this game is really awesome. And sorry, I couldn't find like any good, I couldn't find like any good like video game footage of this and stuff. Sadly, because people don't know how to play it like in an awesome way, like how I did with my friends and family back then. Because I had this for the N64. I sadly sold my N64, so I can't show off the game or anything. I'm sorry about that. But very good game highly recommend it very fun with friends it's just a good time it doesn't even matter who wins or loses not like with sports games nowadays where everyone's so competitive like oh lebron james oh this oh that and it's so stupid this game is not meant to be taken serious here it's just like a wild crazy wacky game and it's awesome madden blitz 2000 man it's awesome if you have an n64 definitely pick it up great game perfect <laughs> it's just it's just it's just mind blowing. It's awesome. Philadelphia received the kick of the I thought only cows could eat that much. First down. <laughs>
number 20, GoldenEye 007 for the N64. This game is really good on its own, but it's like 10 times more fun if you play with people and stuff, especially like four player mode. It's so fun, especially like when you get like a golden gun and stuff, you shoot, you kill everyone in one hit. It's just so much memories with that game. I always played with like my old time friends and stuff. It was just, I played it like all day with them. And I don't know, it's like the first person game I've ever played too and it's the only one that lives up and it still lives up to this day. I really wish I had an N64. Two N64 games and I I don't even have an N64. I feel bad. <sighs> I really wish I had it back but yeah GoldenEye. Even the story mode it's really good. You use like all these gizmos and gadgets. You're like on a dam then you're in the forest then you're on a train then you're on a boat. My favorite frigate. I love that song. There's just like a lot of memories with this game and I highly recommend this if you're like a first person shooter and compared to Call of Duty and stuff like this is awesome and I like the realistic faces they try to go for for the N64 games it's just like hilarious to look back at now and it's just even more so to get the game it's just an awesome game to go back to from time to time I definitely give this game like a 9 out of 10 that's for sure this game's great I don't know how my friend or anyone else compares it to Perfect Dark yeah it plays the same and everything but it doesn't even live up to Double 7 they like to be like they, not hipsters, but they just like to be like, oh, it, it does better than this. But and I swear, GoldenEye just trumps that game, Perfect Dark. It's for a reason. Definitely check it out. Play it if you could, if you have an N64. Really tell me if you think Perfect Dark is better than GoldenEye 007. There's just, I don't see the reason behind it. People just like to be different. Be like, oh, it plays the same. <laughs> just trust me. 007, awesome game. I have to use bits and pieces from other like videos and stuff because I don't have it myself sadly but I really wish I had it back. I need the N64 back. 007, number 20 on the top of the list. Number 19, Burger Time. Burger Time, I first played at my um, aunt's house, actually. She's, like, really rich and stuff. And I was, like, 10 years old when I played it, I think. And she had, like, one of those consoles where, like, the video games are built within the system itself. There's, there's like, 60 games in, like, one little system. And, like, the system's actually the controller. It's really weird. I had like a Spongebob one back then, but yeah, she had like an arcade one, and it was called Burger Time. And even to this day, I love that game. Like, I played it at an arcade at like, um, like Dave and Buster's one day, and Burger Time's just awesome. I actually wish I had it for like PS3 or something, so I'm just showing footage from like online and stuff again. The first three games, I had to show online footage, and I missed these games, and I really missed them. And I really wish I had an N64, and... It would be cool if I had an arcade machine of Burger Time. Basically, you're like a chef and you just have to like drop like ingredients on top of each other and then the ingredients finally and, and the ingredients like fall down like platform to platform and then like after after the ingredients fall fully to the floor it makes like a burger in the end and yeah it's just a fun game and then there's enemies like egg yolks and sausages and like <laughs> just like stuff like that and like fire and it's great and you can only use like salt to stun them for like a brief second you only get like two three salts or something and it's really fun People don't like this game that much, but I love this game. <laughs> I just love it. It's just a great arcade classic, and I highly recommend playing it if you ever could. I just don't know how you even play it nowadays. You need, like, an old Nintendo system, or you need to find an arcade machine or something, or find that built-in console game system that my aunt had. I, had. I have no idea where they are. Built-in console game systems are really good for arcade games. I like them a lot. That's actually how I first played Pac-Man, too, but... 
Anyways, burger time, number 19 on the Tom Wolf list. Number 18 on the list, Wild Guns, and now I could finally show off a game because <laughs> the first few games I did not have or even have the gameplay footage so I couldn't do it, but this is actually my own gameplay footage, so here is Wild Guns really fast, hopefully you could see it pretty good there. Um, this is like me and my dad's favorite game, um, one of definitely like one of the best Super Nintendo games of all time to me. Like it's like a nothing special like arcade shooter and stuff, but surprisingly this actually does go for two hundred bucks nowadays. I don't know why. Like it's an okay game, but the reason why I picked this on my list is like the memories I have of like my dad and stuff and like we always like did this at the end, like when we like beat a level and stuff and it was great. Like Man, eight-year-old eight Tom had it made back then, <laughs> this Super Nintendo game. This is like the fourth game I've ever played in my life, and I don't know, it means like a lot to me and stuff, and this was uh, the system that we have, Super Nintendo, it's pretty awesome. Um, probably like the third most favorite system of mine, Super Nintendo, I'd say, around that era, but it's definitely top five, that's for sure. And yeah, Super Nintendo's awesome. It's like the, the console for like, um, for like side scrollers and like jumpers and stuff like Mario and stuff so yeah it's a great great stuff side scrolling platforming games basically <laughs> jumpers <laughs> yeah I call them jumpers um the reason I like this game is just like a nostalgic memory sort of thing you get to shoot stuff you get secret guns you get I don't know the stages are really good the music's awesome it just feels like you're in like the wild west and it's just great the final boss looks cool and great stuff in that final ending credit song like I know this sounds kind of dark but that final ending credit song I wish they played that at my funeral actually just because it kind of sums up my whole life of just like a perfect sound just like to end it epically I guess <laughs> but Tom Wolf shall live on forever <laughs> it's just a perfect badass song that's all probably gonna play at the end of this video <laughs> actually <laughs> all right on to the next game Wild Guns, number 18. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was skill. Oh. And then I like to pause the game like when it turns like all yellow like that, you see? I like to do that a lot as a kid. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so good. <laughs> and then every time I win, we do this. Number 17. Making its way onto the number 17th spot, it's Heavy Rain for the PS3. This game is definitely like one of the best stories I've ever seen from any video game, that's for sure. Hands down. So, like, seriously, this is number one for stories right here. This Heavy Rain game. Even my mom likes this game, like, she's not really into big in the games like I am, obviously. Like, sh if I play, like, Mario or Sonic or, like, you know, Kirby or whatever, it was always like, oh, that's cute, whatever. But when I played this game, Heavy Rain, she's like, what happens? Like, she's into it. This could be, like, a full-out movie. This game's, like, amazing. So, I highly recommend playing Heavy Rain. So, it's on the PS3. I got the slim edition, um, the, the, <laughs> the real edition of PS3, it's like a lot bigger than the surprising and a lot more chunkier, so yeah, this is the PS3, it's cool, <laughs> and it's probably like my third favorite system, it's, it's definitely better than Super Nintendo in my opinion, but that's just me, and yeah, <laughs> good game, so basically in Heavy Rain, you control four characters, Madison Page, Ethan Mars, Norman Jaden and Scott Shelby and then their stories um, interconnect with one another towards the end and that's all I'll say for now it's not spoiling anything you just basically control four characters anything could happen to them it's your decision it's a great game and a lot of people try to copy their formula later on and 
some are decent, some are good even, but they don't compare to, to this masterpiece right here, Heavy Rain. Definitely check it out if you have a PS3. Highly recommend it. It's dino -rific. On to the next game. So this is number 17 on the Tom Wolf playthrough list. Oh my god, give him the pizza. I hate you, Ethan. I freaking hate you. You never rest. That's bad parenting, I must say. Oh, that's disgusting. I don't need anything from the microwave anymore. I think it's disgusting. Oh, God. It's, like, already too late. Wait, right, what? Is it already done? The fuck? <laughs> what is this? Space food? The fuck? It's, like, already ready? Oh, why? I never did this. I actually never made a pizza in this game. Holy shit. I'm kind of excited. Is that a pizza? Why is it green? Was that green? You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. Coming! <laughs> That's all you get. And I get the other 80% of the pizza. Number 16. Yahoo! Chili's gone. Number 16 on the list is Super Mario World for the SNES. I'm sorry if I wasn't saying the system for the previous games, if I forgot, but uh, this is my Super Mario World. As you can tell, it's very scratched, but you could tell that it says Super Mario World. And if you hear this sound right here, it's like really busted up and stuff, and there's like a little bead moving around, but surprisingly, this game still works perfectly fine. I know, right? <laughs> I just give this one. Here's a new copy of Super Mario World. <laughs> it's perfect, but <laughs> it still works. It's amazing. So, pop this baby in right here. And guess what? This is the first system I've ever played in my life. And I used to play it with him. Puppish. I, so I used to have like asthma when I was like three or four years old in the hospital. And I'm not sure if I was like close to dying. I don't think I was, but I had, like asthma or something. And me and Puffish just like played this like all day together. And he had like his own separate control, and I thought he was playing with me or something. And I thought like he was helping me as Mario or something. Who knows what we thought of as a kid? But basically, this game holds like a lot of memories and stuff for me, nostalgic feelings and stuff. Like yeah, you could say Super Mario Maker is way better and stuff. Oh, you could do this. Oh, you could do that. Oh, you could create this, but. Nothing's gonna break the experience I had with Puppish as a little kid. I never, I'm never gonna forget. And this is just the best one in my opinion. Plus it's the coolest Mario style anyway. But yeah, it's just so much memories with this game. And basically you just try to like save the Princess Peach from this thing, Bowser. <laughs> no Mario Party 10. <laughs> yeah, Mario Party 10's not on this list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, Bowser. He's, he's cool. We'll stand right here. And uh, more enemies in this game. I actually have more of me. I got Boo. He's my favorite enemy, Boo. <laughs> and then uh, there's another one right here. Ah, there's so much stuff around me. <laughs> and then there's a uh, Bullet Bill. It's just cool to have a Bullet Bill. He's my second most enemy. He's like... It's just awesome. So, these three are in Mario World, and they'll be with me forever, these memories. <laughs> Number 16, Super Mario World. Definitely check it out if you never played it, and if not, I guess have fun with Mario Maker and make levels and stuff, but Mario World, my personal favorite, Tom Wolf's pick. <gasps> this is so nostalgic here, man, this is awesome. This song's awesome, by the way. Hope I don't mess up when I have to throw the Goombas at his head. Especially the second one, because he has bowling balls. And if I mess up the second one, that's not good. Very good. One shot. There we go. You know, if he didn't throw his, like. <laughs> his, like. His enemy. Like, he... Number 15. Swinging in, and the number 15 is. Donkey Kong Country for that Super Nintendo. This is um my second or third favorite game. I know I keep saying third, fourth, fifth, second. They're all like relatively the same basically. Anything for Super Nintendo, I basically played it before any other console game. Keep that in mind. So 
Donkey Kong Country. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like the third to the fifth range that I played this. So third or fifth game right here. Donkey Kong Country. So this is actually the first video Chili was in. As well as myself with like the face cam and everything. So I thought that was really cool actually. This game really brings back memories for Tom Wolf and, and, and little Tom Wolf. I used to speed run this game all the time. Trying to get it within an hour or something. Beating it within an hour or like under an hour. So, yeah, I always get like 50 minutes, 55 minutes. For my channel, I think I got like 59 minutes because I died like two, three times on really dumb parts, but this game is really fun. Everyone says the second one's way better, but pff, I think this trumps it. Even like the art style looks better to me too. I like the graphical art style and stuff too. But, um, yeah, I highly recommend this game if you like um, action platforming awesome games <laughs> donkey kong country is your game to go like super mario and donkey kong country they're basically ties to me but i don't know i get like a little more enjoyment on this one because mario i guess i oversaturated it in my brain and it's like i played it way too much mario world <laughs> that i just picked this over it so donkey kong country super nintendo definitely check it out and yeah that's all i gotta say for it <laughs> on to the next one the Donkey Kong Country Speedrun Challenge. With me today is my awesome friend, Chili. He's a huge penguin. He's only gonna be joining me on, like, um, scary games and stuff. But, um, he doesn't talk or anything. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm not capping anyone. Don't worry. <laughs> you know who you are. It's just... Like, I need, um, <laughs> what do I, it's like, I need, like, when I play scary games, I need, like, protection or something, and I, like, I don't know, I'm terrified of them, so that would be a treat for you YouTubers to watch, <laughs> trust me on that. Well, I am trying to get under one hour in this game, the most I, the best time I got in this was around... 57 ish. So far, doing pretty good. Number 14. Brawling its way onto the number 14 spot is Def Jam Fight for New York, made by EA Games back when they used to be like amazing. So, hopefully, that'll show pretty good. Yep, Def Jam Fight for New York. This is definitely a greatest hits. This is. Definitely like one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Like it's like bone crunching and <laughs> it's just great. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna even make this video tell you the truth. There might be like a side of me to the game and then my other side's just here. But I don't know. My voices might go over it and ramble on and stuff of why I like these games so much. So basically, you get to create your own character and then you get to like face like all these rap people, thug people, like all these other people. And you just like brawl and fight to the death basically and you just like crunch heads and you get pipes and tag team moves and all this crazy stuff i had some great memorable moments for my channel in this game that's for sure um more to say about it. definitely really fun to play with people this is extremely underrated this game extremely underrated this is there's way more recognition way more i highly recommend this game def jam fight for new york and Surprisingly, it got me into like really good like rap music like maybe like three four songs But I hate rap music and this game got me into it somehow. It's just good. The story mode's funny and Snoop Dogg's like nah <laughs> Well, I might as well say it now. Snoop Dogg's like the villain in it and it's like that's just Fantastic. It's not really spoiling because you kind of this could tell right away But yeah Snoop Dogg as the main villain in any video game I mean you're on you're on to something good there So Def Jam fight for New York and this is my PS2 system that I use it's a slim it's a very slim the regular PS2 is much bigger I have it inside but I don't have it with me sadly but yeah this is the regular PS2 right here Def Jam Fight for New York highly recommend it good 8 out of 10 fighting game or even 9 good game check it out boom chakalaka on to the next one so this is number 14 Actually, I'm only at 10 minutes, so my god, maybe I should do another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Show us some fine looking dang things in here tonight, boy. Every eye's on you, partner. You the man. So who you gonna take home, huh? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see what Tom Wolf's choice is. So I can either take the lovely Cindy J, Kimora, Little Kin, and Shauna. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I I'm gonna take the nice lovely Cindy J. Just like uh, the playthrough I did last time of this. <laughs> I just totally ignored I did this earlier. I'm gonna pick Cindy J again. She's hot as hell. <laughs> hey, she's with me. Why am I not convinced? <laughs> hey, back off. Tom, Tom, you're kind of a freak. Oh, well. <laughs> We've been going up for five years. Why am I not convinced? <laughs> and then she's just like, it's okay. You're so sexy. <laughs> it's like, hold on. I'm gonna kick your boyfriend's ass. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, shit. I'm not sure what happens if I lose. I probably get like an ugly girl, I feel like. Oh shit, you saw that coming. <laughs> I remember you did that to me last time. Yeah, I know. There we go. Oh! Fat guys could jump. <laughs> oh, I just broke the chicken glass. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know how I got a bottle. <laughs> You don't have shoes, Tom Wolf. <laughs> no, <I'm fine. laughs> Kicking its way onto the number 13 spot is Super Mario Strikers. I know I said like Mario's getting stale and everything like that, but this Super Mario Strikers game, it's unlike any other Mario game. This is like probably the most violent Nintendo game I've ever played in my life. Basically, you could just like slam into people, electrify them, crush their heads, and like you just play soccer in like this hardcore action style. It's amazing. Great arcade game. I love it. Like, and I love soccer because I played soccer. Just a quick little fact of mine. I, I played soccer for like 10 years or something. That's why I'm really good at hacky sack and stuff. Maybe I'll show it for like a bonus at the end of this video sort of me like hacky sacking. And yeah, like I just like soccer a lot and <laughs> this that it's like a Mario game like hardcore and stuff like look at DK's face there look how like he's like <gasps> look at Mario like everything's intense in this game I'll like show some like footage of like how awesome this game is and stuff and I played it for my Scooby-Doo bonus too so good stuff I, I really like playing this with people too I'm surprised Nintendo went this violent like it's violent for a Nintendo game in my opinion and that it's rated E for everyone it's just kind of funny to me it's just like you could do this in soccer in real life <laughs> it's just great I love this game uh, Super Mario Strikers great great memories definitely worthy of the 13th spot on my list I'd say it's a really hard list to make and I really hope you are enjoying this list as much as I'm talking about it so it's just soccer, hardcore style, slide tackling, pushing. There's anything in soccer, but you could get away with fouls and penalties and everything and like do death defying stunts basically. So, highly recommend this game. Super Mario Strikers for the GameCube. Oh, and before I forget, this is my GameCube. It's my modified GameCube. I put a wolf bone sticker on it. That's the power button. And insert the game here. Okay. Now, let's go on to the last pick on my video of this video and then the next video will be over the next 11 on my list so let's go over the last one in this video boom chakalaka let's go oh shit so it's three minutes Ooh. oh <laughs> yeah yeah let's see that replay slide tackle Oh, a bicycle kick. Oh, whoa. There we go. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> nice. Oh, you son of... <laughs> this game's kind of violent. <laughs> Walking in on the number 12 spot on my list is Shenmue 2 for the Xbox only. This game is phenomenal. I only got like an hour 
or an hour and a half into it and I, I know someone might be complaining like then how could you put it so high on the list over such other great games like Mario World and then DK Country and you know all that other stuff you know why they know how to present a story in this but Heavy Rain knows how to tell a story this is more interactive and more exploration -y. Which I hate exploration, which is the hilarious part, but this game makes you want to explore places you never once want to explore. This game, Shenmue 2. I am very shocked how awesome it is. Plus, I'm a Yu Yu Hakusho fanatic, and that looks like Yusuke, okay? Yusuke is awesome. Spare God! Like, it's awesome. <laughs> just trust me. Even though he has nothing to do with Yusuke, he has no superpowers. It's just a great game. And I played this for one part of my channel, but I felt like, um... I just felt like you need to play the first one in order to play this one, but basically I get to sum up this whole story as of right now. And if you want me to play Shenmue 2, please let me know if you want me to. So basically let me explain the story of Shenmue really fast. Basically, this kid's dad got killed by some drug like dealer or something. <laughs> some thug leader, mafia guy, I said drug dealer, my bad. But okay, so a bad guy killed his dad, bad guy killed his dad, he wants vengeance on the bad guy. That's it. That's all you have to know. The bad guy killed his dad because the dad had like a treasure that the bad guy wanted. The dad didn't give him the treasure. Bad guy killed him. He's gonna go avenge his dad now. That's it. That's the whole story. And that's where Shenmue 2 leads off into. So, I don't know what happens in this game, but playing like the first hour or two, the characters really speak to me. The quick time events are awesome. And let me know if you really want me to play this for the future ahead, but I don't know. I'm going to be really busy with life and everything. And it's just I have like full-time school, full-time this. But this game, Shenmue 2, is awesome. I love it. Very good game. One of the few exploration games I really like. And I only like two or three, and this is definitely one of them. And let me show you this humongous Xbox. Ugh. This thing is a monster. Biggest system I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, but this Xbox is awesome, right, Chiller? He says it doesn't hurt him. Um, yeah, Xbox. I actually like this system. It actually looks really cool. It actually does have some really good games on it, but other systems, like, already have other games on it and stuff. So, basically, um, a lot of, like, PS2 games and stuff, the Xbox has it, too. It's just, like, they kind of copied one another. Kind of like PS4 and Xbox One. Just a few exclusives here and there, but, yeah. Xbox, um, I'll show me like hacky sacking or something at the end of this video just for the hell of it and get ready for the top 11 games um, after this video. It's gonna be the next day, so you have to wait. <laughs> Alright, stay care, stay classy, always eat your pizza. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like my picks and stuff, but um, that's all I gotta say for now. And I hope you're enjoying this list and stuff. And I love making uh, YouTube videos for my fellow Wolfpack members. So thank you very much. Boom chakalaka. Take care. And always eat your pizza. <laughs>